most useful robots will be those with mobility and versatility. ODEX-1, like other prototypes, proves these goals are feasible. Radio signals to ODEX's self-contained computers allow it to adapt to a variety of environments. It can narrow to maneuver through tight spaces, lower its body to clear the door frame, then raise again to normal height. But scientists generally agree it will be a very long time before robots come close to moving as humans do. Natural walking is an amazing combination of sight, coordination, and balance. Each pair of legs is controlled by its own nerve center, which link up to control the overall walking pattern. It's this system that has been imitated in the world's first commercial walking machine, Odex-1. Odetix is interested in uh, developing walking machine technology because there are a number of applications where uh, a machine that provides its own locomotion by walking on legs is a very definite advantage where uh, other concepts uh, uh, fail. An example of this is inside man-made facilities, uh, such as nuclear facilities, where the facilities were originally designed for access by human beings on foot, which means stairs and ladders. And these facilities now, of course, are operating uh, with environments where humans can no longer go into these areas, uh, yet there's the need for um, a machine to go in and do uh, inspection and maintenance. ODEX-1 is radio controlled, although it takes care of the guidance of its own legs. It can go up unfamiliar staircases and negotiate doorways. One day, it will have a sense of vision so it can see for itself where to go. The ability to avoid obstacles is essential if the machine is to work with man. In the uh, man-made environment where the accessible pathways for the robot are very confined and very cluttered, it's, it's extremely important uh, that the uh, walking machine be able to place its feet at very precise locations uh, based on the available uh, foot space. For this reason, we have opted to build a statically stable uh, walking machine concept and uh, with that statically stable concept we've chosen six legs because this affords the greatest speed efficiency while still maintaining static stability There's a limit to the speed you can reach when you're balancing on a 